Earlier, we showed the movement of the throat swallowing food with perfect timing. Right before food enters, the epiglottis covers the trachea, so food gets passed on to the esophagus. The act of swallowing is controlled by the cranial nerves and is a perfectly coordinated reflex that takes a mere half a second. What happens when this timing is off? This can happen to even someone healthy and young. This man is drinking soda, but... Oops, be careful. He ended up choking on it uncontrollably. This has probably happened to you too. This is called aspiration. The symptoms of dysphagia can include choking on food or liquid on a daily basis. Those who have dysphagia have a floppy epiglottis. The food broken down by teeth ends up in the trachea because the epiglottis does not close in time. Or because the swallowing does not take place while the epiglottis is closed. This is what causes aspiration. In many cases, repeated aspiration is caused by problems with the brain function triggered by strokes, Alzheimer's disease, and other disorders associated with aging. Aspiration should not be taken lightly, as it can lead to serious cases. This is an X-ray image capturing the mechanism of aspiration. You can see liquid is slowly collecting inside the trachea. Trying to swallow, the patient ended up choking. Food and saliva that enter the lungs by mistake actually contain many bacteria and can cause pneumonia if such foreign materials are not removed by coughing or in the form of sputum. Currently, it's estimated that 20% of elderly people in need of nursing care experience difficulty in swallowing. Furthermore, most cases of pneumonia, which is the fourth leading cause of death in Japan, are actually said to be induced by aspiration. Dysphagia can make eating a challenge. So then, how should people with swallowing difficulty obtain nutrients? One solution is to be on a dysphagia diet. A dysphagia diet has been developed so that people with swallowing difficulty can enjoy food safely. Japan has world-class technology for developing a diet suitable for those with dysphagia. A dysphagia diet features three key physical properties. The food should have moderate solidity, which allows it to change its shape and be effortlessly swallowed. In addition, it should be less viscous, so it passes through the throat without sticking. It also should be somewhat cohesive, so it can be swallowed without breaking up into smaller pieces. Only after satisfying all these properties is the food suitable for swallowing. The high level of technology is also reflected in the cooking method. In the past, a dysphagia diet often was prepared by simply blending the ingredients. By controlling the physical properties and incorporating creative cooking methods, it's now possible to prepare a special diet without compromising the appearance and taste of the original ingredient. Everything in this salmon meal is processed and gelled. Can you tell the difference? We had a food expert involved in the development of original recipes try dysphagia food. It's very delicious. I really enjoyed it. 
ちょっとこの焦げ目の感じとかもあの本当に普通にお魚を食べてるようなあのすごく美味しいあの病院にいても食事の時間がすごく楽しみになるっていうふうにあの感じました。Many reports indicate that the introduction of such a special diet has actually increased patients' appetite. However, there are people that have trouble obtaining nutrition from food because they develop pneumonia caused by repeated aspiration. The solution for them is tube feeding, a method of providing nutrition without passing food through the throat.